So in this video, I'd like to answer three questions. What is a bubble ponic setup? How do I build one? And why is it best for the beginner hydro gardener? Well, I don't really know who came up with the name bubble ponics, but I can't say as if I totally agree. I feel like it should be more like DWC 2.0 or deep water culture with drip system, a DWCWDS. No, clearly I shouldn't be the one to come up with the name. If you guys can think of a better name than bubble ponics for this system, please leave it in the description box below. But let's get right into what it is. So really bubble ponics is, is just a DWC or a deep water culture setup, um, which the principles of that are just to take a reservoir, fill it with your nutrient rich water, put an air stone or two in there, and then you suspend your roots from the top into the nutrient rich water. Well, a bubble ponics system builds off the same foundation, except you're gonna be adding in the extra guarantee of a drip system at the top. So how do you build a bubble ponic setup? Well, this is how I built mine. Um, let me take you along. I've got a number two five gallon bucket. I drilled two holes for my air lines to come in. I plan on putting two small air stones in here. And then whenever I drill holes for my power plugs, what I like to do is I'll drill a larger, like one and a half inch hole. And then I use my two inch foam plant collars to run the plug through. And then I fill the hole with that. So it looks really nice. It's tidy. It's fairly watertight. Um, I'm, I wouldn't recommend filling the water up past this to test that, but it, I haven't had anything leak out. So that's how I usually get past running those huge bulky power cords through. And to get my drip line into the basket, I'm actually gonna go ahead and drill a hole in the top of the basket. I don't want the top of the clay pebbles to be wet because they will develop algae really quickly if the top part's wet. So I'm gonna put it in just underneath the top layer of hydro pebbles so the roots are taking full advantage of this drip system, but we're not gonna be inviting any algae. And as you can see, that's a lot more than a drip coming out of there. And this is why it's gonna be really important to put this setup on a timer. When I first started gardening, I thought the more water with nutrients that I could get to my roots, the faster they're gonna grow. Why not? Then I realized pretty quickly after I kind of studied aeroponics that um, it's the balance between delivering air, nutrients, and water to your roots that actually enables those really amazing aeroponic builds where you see like five or six times the growth because they're utilizing the available air uh, and just delivering the water in like a mist. So I'm gonna put this garden on a timer for 15 minutes every hour. I'm also gonna put the air stones on the same timer uh, because the water that comes off the bubbles on the surface, they're actually enough to keep the roots saturated. And if temperature control isn't regulated, then that can really, that can lead to root rot pretty quickly. Of course, the air stones add oxygen to your setup, but they're really great for circulating everything that's in there. The, the heavier nutrients usually settle to the bottom and the air stones help float those back up to the top and keep everything mixed together. One more thing I wanna mention, the gap of air at the top. When you fill it up with water, we wanna leave at least a six inch gap between the top of the water and the plant. Um, this is to really allow the drip system to work. If you just had water right up to the top, then there's only a, about two inches worth of roots that are even seeing the drip before everything is just in the DWC setup. I'm actually gonna treat this a little bit like a cracky setup where I'm not even gonna change or top off the nutrients until my EC gets to around 1800 parts per million. And then I'm gonna top them off to about 1100 parts per million, allow them to concentrate back down and then top it back off. This is so that I, it allows even more space between the plants and the water for just air and roots to go to town in there. This part of the setup where the plants roots are completely suspended in air and just receiving the drip, that's actually responsible for the more rapid growth. So I want to allow as much of that area as I could possibly have without over concentrating my nutrients in the bottom. And then on top of that, to have a pump pulling from the very bottom that's bringing those nutrients up to the roots, it's all these things that make bubble ponics so successful. And that brings me into why it's great for beginners. So this exact garden, I'm building this to leave at my best friend's house. He's a semi-professional cannabis farmer, and but he's never grown cannabis in hydroponics. So I thought this would be a great setup to leave at his house I'll be the one to go over there to top off the nutrients and do any maintenance that needs to be done for this. So I wanted to make sure that I had a garden that had a couple fail safes set in place and that was going to be really, really easy to maintain. 
So for the cannabis series, I plan to grow two identical plants and one in this exact garden and one in soil right next to each other under the same lights and the same setup. We're doing a whole cannabis cultivation 101 series, so make sure you're subscribed for that. Really hope this video helped you. Let's keep growing together. Thank you.